welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video so today's video is actually going to be my 37 and 38 week bump date it's going to be a little incomplete because i had originally wanted to wait until i was until i had gone to my 38 week appointment to do my 38 week bump date but i didn't make it that far and ended up delivering before so i do have my little girl here but i will be making a different labor and delivery story just because that day is so special to me it was everything i ever wanted and it was the most beautiful experience so i'm excited to share that with you guys but that'll be in another video um, to come and today i just want to share with you guys 37 and 38 weeks before going into labor so um i turned 38 weeks on july friday july 9th i believe i turned 38 weeks at my 37 weeks um i think i had already mentioned it before that i was having a lot of prodromal labor symptoms um a lot of just pelvic pain and um like pain walking and things like that and so um it was getting rough towards the end of my pregnancy, but I was just so ready to have her. And then at 37 weeks, I started having like real, what I consider like real prodromal labor symptoms, um, where I was waking up every single night with contractions. Like before I would question whether or not I was having contractions. Like I, they were all along just Braxton Hicks because I had never gotten like cramping with my contractions. But there was one night, I think it was the day after I turned 37 weeks, where I woke up at like 1 or 2 in the morning and I swear I was going into labor. Like these contractions were intense. I felt them in my back. They were every 2 to 3 minutes. Um, they were bearable, but I, would, I told myself, I was like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep, try to get some rest. And if they get any worse, then obviously we'll go in. And they ended up dying out by the morning. Now that was like the Saturday after I turned 37 weeks. That was happening to me every single day up until the day I delivered. So it was really frustrating um, because it's kind of like, uh, it's, it's really, it's a lot emotionally wondering, you know, like whether or not this is the real thing. Um, and I know that they say a lot of times, like just take time, rest, do this, do that. I did the opposite. <laughs> I started trying to self-induce my labor, nothing crazy, nothing dangerous, but I was trying just to do things to help get her out or to help get her into a better position so that she could finally be ready, right? To make these false labor or prodromal labor turn into real labor. And so um, over the course of a week, I was pumping at least an hour a day every single day um i would do like 15 minute sessions five minute breaks for about an hour and i started getting some colostrum which is great but nothing ever came out of that i never got um, any contractions or anything um i was still doing my red raspberry leaf tea and i was also still doing my evening primrose oil so two caps orally one cap vaginally in the evenings so that didn't change um, I was still doing my dates and so I added in pumping a week of that nothing happened um, I did try castor oil I'm not gonna lie I did it with my first pregnancy and it didn't do anything so I figured I'd try it again and it didn't do anything again I tried it three times and I think the third time was the one that finally got it but I tried it three times I didn't do the midwives brew this time I just did the castor oil with orange juice and yeah, that didn't work. So um, it didn't even give me, I think it gave me the runs like once. I used the bathroom like once and that was it. But other than that, I had no symptoms. Like it didn't do anything for me. So um, we tried the castor oil, that did nothing. I tried pineapple, that did nothing. I was bouncing on my ball and sitting on my ball like crazy. Like that was the only thing that I would do. I was going on crazy long walks with my daughter, um, curb walking, like all the things and nothing was working. Um, and then at my 37 week appointment, at my 37, right before my 37 week appointment, I did end up going to triage just because I thought that my water was leaking. 
Like I was having just a lot of what I didn't think was discharge. I thought it was fluid, but apparently uh, it, it was discharge because they said that it wasn't fluid. Um, but that was the day right before my 37 week appointment. And mind you, my 37 week appointment was like 37 weeks, five days. So almost 38 weeks along. Um, and when my doctor checked me at that appointment, she did tell me that I was about two centimeters dilated, 50% effaced, which was awesome because I had made progress from the week prior but still like with all of the prodromal labor that i had been having waking up with that type of pain every single night i was hoping that i would be a little bit a little bit further along than i was um so again i just continued with what i was doing i was pumping going on walks um and then the night that i went into labor um i was like okay i am ready to have this baby so i was 38 weeks and two days um and basically I just did everything in one. So I decided like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, and I had also been drinking ginger tea. So supposedly ginger tea can help. It kind of has like the same effect as, I guess you could say like spicy foods where, I mean, ginger is spicy, but you know, it kind of like works the intestines to help cramp them up and then help promote contractions, I guess, I don't know. But yeah, so at 38 weeks and two days, I decided to go ahead and try to induce my labor again, like I had been for the past week. And I did two tablespoons of castor oil with some orange juice. After that, I had some tea, um, some ginger tea that I actually added some lemon verbena tea to. Um, lemon verbena and castor oil are the two main ingredients in the midwife's brew. Um, so yeah, I. I guess I kind of did the brew, but just like all separate. Um, so I did the lemon verbena tea inside of the ginger tea. So I mixed both. I just heated up some ginger root, um, boiled some ginger root, and then added the lemon verbena tea into it. And then I also had some peanut butter to counteract any effect that the um, castor oil might give me. And I pumped for about an hour um, right before I went to bed. So all of this was probably like around 11 o'clock, 10 or 11 o'clock. And I ended up going to bed and resting. And I remember waking up around one um, and I'm not gonna go into like my full labor, but I remember waking up around one and kind of having like mild cramps, but thinking like, oh, this is just that prodromal labor again. And I went back to bed and when I woke up at four, it was the real deal. So between 37 and 38 weeks, to be honest, like all I was trying to do was get this baby girl out. Like my symptoms were the same. I was just having a lot of pelvic pain. It hurt so much to walk. It, helped, it hurt so much to turn around in bed. And even now postpartum, I'm still having pelvic pain. It still hurts to walk, um, which is why I think that my condition was a little bit more serious than the doctors believed, but that's okay. And, um, yeah, I didn't even get like a final bump shot. I'm really sad about it, but I'll go ahead and insert a picture of like the last bump shot that I got. Um, I didn't even think about taking like a last picture before we left the house or anything like that. So yeah, but my 38 week was just full of prodromal labor contractions day and night. Um, and me trying to get this baby out. So it wasn't really anything exciting. There wasn't really anything new aside from the padromal labor contractions that I was having daily. Um, but yeah, and then I delivered at 38 weeks and three days. So I had originally wanted to wait until my 38 week appointment, but I would have been 38 weeks and five days along at that point because that was just the day that my doctor could see me and I didn't make it that far. So that's why I never got out the 38 week appointment um, video. But yeah, baby girl is here. She is safe. She was born at 38 weeks and three days and we are both doing so, so well, as you can see by the mess in the back. <laughs> we are home and just enjoying our little family of four. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here and my next video will be my labor and delivery story so um keep an eye out for that one and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in the next one bye